All right. Now let's have a look at this important topic of ports. Now ports can be really handy, especially if you are in a dev and a and a production or say a QA environment, and you want to experiment between two different things and see how they work. Now what happened is any particular app that requires to be exposed on the internet, it you have to expose it on some port inside the container and then map that port with the host that is running that particular container. Uh, let me actually show you with demonstration what I'm talking about. So for example, I have, uh, I'm running Docker in, uh, Nginx image I'm by using in, in daemon mode basically and I'm using port 80 with 80 and I'm giving it name uh, nginx port 80 and the image is nginx right so because it doesn't have an nginx image right now it's quickly pulling it down for me all right so it's there now if i do docker ps it's running with port 80 map to port 80 and the name of the container is nginx port 80 what that means is I can access welcome to nginx on port 80. Now let's say for example this is my uh, actual image which is running on say a QA instance right. However I want to make some changes to it but before I push those changes I want to dev, uh, experiment with them on a dev instance on a developer instance just to see how they look before I actually go ahead and you know give it to the QA instance right. So what I can do is, now this one is mapped with port 80 inside the container on the port 80 on my host. I can also just leave the second part blank. Basically I could do docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name. I could say nginx dev and then pass the port as 80. That's it. And then nginx. Now what it will do is, it will forward the port 80 to a random port on my host. So when I run this, now if I do docker ps, it randomly picked up a port called 32771, which also has nginx running, but this one is nginx dev, right? So when I go to 32771, it also has nginx running over here. Now port 80 also has nginx running, right? Now I can go into any of these uh, containers so I can go into docker exec if an it so now I'm here I'll go to so this is the index.html that is being served over here on port 32771 so let's say I want to pass a new line this is dev nginx instance and I want to pass it towards the end of index.html so now when I reload uh, it says this is dev nginx instance now notice this is my literally dev nginx instance my other instance which I dedicated to QA, it's still running as it is, right? So essentially now what I'm doing is, let me clear the screen, let me come out of this container. So with this what I'm doing is, I have two Nginxes running, one is running on the dev instance and one is running on port 80 which I have allocated to QA instance. I can make any modifications I want to the dev instance. I can test it by going to the randomly assigned port over here. 32771. I can ensure that my changes look as I want them to. And if I if I'm happy with it, I could just commit those changes. So I could say message dev changes committed. And I could commit this. So it created a new image for me which starts with 955BE so docker images it starts with 95BA5BE so now I can just tag it by saying the Sukhwani custom nginx uh, and say v1.1 
right so now if i do docker images i have deep sukhani custom nginx v1.1 and the old nginx which was running is already there so now i can just pass on this image with this new change which says this is dev nginx instance to the qa by just simply pushing this image to docker hub and they can go ahead and use it in whichever way they want so that's how docker port allows you to do this now let's have a look at the outcome of docker port command so what is docker port now docker port command it takes any container id any container id or name and tells you which port is it exposed to right now if i want to see which random port was assigned to nginx dev i could do docker port nginx dev so it shows to me that port 80 inside the container is being forwarded to port 32771 on the host what that basically means you can access the contents which are being served on port 80 inside the container by going to port 32771 as we did over here right so that's exactly what docker port does for you all right um, so you had a look at what are manually chosen ports the way we do it by saying docker run hyphen p 80 with 80 so in this case i manually chose port 80 versus what are dynamically allocated by leaving this blank i can just say allocate dynamically now even in manually it doesn't have to be the same port as over here like i could manually say i want to allocate uh, it is 32771 so say for example 32700 you know and run nginx in daemon mode i could still do that oh, okay this port is allocated already Oh, port 80 is already allocated. Oh, okay, all right. So basically, manually also it's possible, but because I have already have port 80 bind, I cannot redo the port 80. So now what I have done, I have bound the port 80 inside the container with 32,000 outside. So now if I do Docker PS, I have this one more container running called frosty kill by which is also running nginx it was started just now like 12 seconds ago um, and this one is taking the request on 32000 and forwarding it to port 80 inside the container so i could do 32000 and you can see it over here right so basically you can manually choose a port you can let it dynamically allocate a port and you can see which port has been allocated by using the docker port command against the container id or the container name like this all right so that's it for this particular tutorial guys stay tuned for more please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please leave comments on how i can improve further or if there are any topics you would want me to cover on this channel thanks so much for watching